You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. And today, what I wanted to talk to you about is creating the movie. So I am creating this um, playbook course, and I've been working on it for quite some time. And uh, it's due to release in uh, September, September 29th. So we're about a month out from that release. And I wanted to go through some of the principles in the podcast, um, just so you can get an idea of what to expect if you decide to jump in and take the course. So playbook principle number 10 is creating the movie, right? So I break up the playbook in four modules. It's mindset, vision, planning, slash strategy, and execution. Okay. So when you get ready to create the movie, right? Principle number nine was creating the picture. So that involves doing things like vision boards and things like that, right? Principle number 10 is creating the movie. So whenever a movie is made in Hollywood, um, they always hire a screenwriter. Before any scene gets shot, before any acting gets done, they hire a screenwriter to write up a screenplay. And a lot of times these studios and actors, they decide whether they want to do the movie or not based on the screenplay. And so in the movie of your life, your goal, whatever it is, right? You want to write out the script of that goal as if you already had it now, okay? So it's almost as if you're writing a movie. Now, you don't have to go into the level of detail that Hollywood does in writing scripts. But a little bit of detail is good because that's what's going to engage your subconscious mind to further create the goal, right? So in principle number nine, what we did was we created the picture. And so it's a still picture of that goal, you having that goal, right? That vision board. So you start doing that every day. You start looking at that vision board every day, every day, every day. And it drives that image, you know, into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind begins to recreate that in life. Okay. The movie has a little more activity. Okay. But in this particular part of it, what we want to do is that we want to write out like I said, a short script and it doesn't have, again, doesn't have to be long, you know, this long drawn out thing, but you know, just a few lines about, you know, having your goal now. So if it, let's say you want a job, right. And it's a dream job. It's a job you've been wanting for a long time, right. You write out the movie, you write out the script as if you have the job now. So you write down things such as I went on the interview I did well on the interview. I was able to meet, you know, some of the people I'll be working with. And they called me and told me that I got the job and I got it at the salary I wanted. And I got it, you know, the working environment that I wanted. All those things, right? You write that down in your script. Okay. So everything that you want, you write it in your script. And then once you write the script, you visualize it happening. Okay. Now the first couple of times it's going to feel a little awkward because you don't have it, but this is the practice, right? You, every day you get up and you redo it. You replay the movie over and over again until it becomes natural. Okay. Now here's the thing about visualization. Everyone knows how to do it. Okay. And there's no course needed, even though people create courses, make lots of money from the courses. There's really no course needed to do visualization. All you need to do is go back to when you were a kid and kids know how to visualize. Kids know how to make believe, right? They know how to put themselves in a different position or a different place or a different country or what have you, 
you know, when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have internet, you know what I mean? Like we didn't have social media, right? When I was about to graduate high school, I was um, finally introduced to a little bit of internet, which was, uh, what was it, America Online or one of those, right? And so, you know, you put the disc in the computer and, and it connects to uh, the internet through your phone and made that loud noise, right? So, you know, I, that's that was the first time I was introduced to internet, but I, you know, like I said, I was about to graduate high school. But, you know, before we had internet, we had our imagination. Now, we still have imagination, but, you know, you really had to have a strong imagination because, you know, other than that, like your world was basically what you saw with your eyes and heard with your ears every day, right? You want to visualize, you want to take that power of visualization that you developed as a child and use it here. Okay. Visualize what you want to happen. Visualize that job. Visualize that relationship that you want. Um, you know, visualize that house that you want. Visualize those things that you want and, and write it out in a script. Okay. And then, you know, when you do that again, every day, you want to start really honing your script, adding in as many details as you want and get it to a point where, okay, I got everything I want. Okay, I, th this is what I want to happen. I visualized it, okay, and I feel like it's mine, okay? And once you feel like it's yours, you're pretty much done. Like, I mean, you can do it as many times as you want, but once you feel like, once you feel like you've got it and it's yours, for all intents and purposes, your subconscious mind has gone to work, and it's only a matter of time before that thing starts to make its way into your life. It's very powerful. So I'm going to talk more about this in the playbook course. Uh, I hope you join us in there. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot and you're going to begin to realize some of those dreams that you've had for a long time, but you didn't really know how you were going to do it or how you were going to get there. You're going to start to see how. So thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind.